The US Open threw up its normal drama on the final Sunday, but it's what was spotted in the bag of one tailor-made staffer that made you question, is it a clue as to what's coming next from tailor-made in 2024? And this channel's harped on about the benefits that high lofted fairways can offer average golfers. And it now seems to me that the popularity is on the rise in the professional game as well. Now you may recall that in 2023, Stealth 2 launched this. This being the Stealth Plus fairway wood. Are we getting that in focus then? And the key thing about that it was released in two different formats, a three wood and a five wood, both with an adjustable hosel. But the key feature was this weight here. It's 60 grams of weight that was adjustable. That's a lot of significant change in terms of mass. And you're able to shove that whole thing forward if you wanted to get the lowest spinning option or take it all the way back if you were looking for help with forgiveness and perhaps also the launch of this club. A fantastic new addition to the Stealth 2 lineup. Now, whilst this club is an absolute weapon, if you want it to be in your bag, it has certain limitations. But this was spotted in the bag of Kyle Phillips at the US Open. It is, in fact, a version of the Stealth Plus Fairy Wood in a number six, which is the first unusual bit. It's got 20 degrees of loft. And I think this could be quite possibly where we see the 2024 20, lineup of Stealth move into. And there's a good reason as to why. Now we do know the loft and we do know it's got a number six on it, but what we don't know is what length of shaft is in this thing. And quite possibly what I could see is this gonna be TaylorMade's version of Callaway's Heavenwood, which is hugely popular. And what that means is a longer shaft than you would see in a seven wood and perhaps a similar length of shaft that you would get in your five wood. So 20 degrees aloft with lots of adjustability with 60 grams of weight to shift around and a slightly longer shaft than you would normally see in your seven wood. This could become a real playable iron for plenty of average golfers and I think could be a very positive move from TaylorMade. So with the expansion of that range, like I said, I could quite easily see something like a, uh, a four and a six wood being added to their options. And I think, to be honest with you, that's something that I've heard a lot of people ask for, particularly the forward, that addition of the six, again, I think is a very positive move. So before we go any further, what I'd like to know from you is how many of you would consider putting a four or six wood in the bag? And if you have already, then let me know what you've got and what brand it is, right. That could be nice. Little half shot there. Oh, and played one. So the question is, why is that six wood so important? I mean, at the end of the day, in the Stealth 2 lineup, there is a seven wood that exists. It's 21 degrees, but there is a problem with that seven wood, which we're going to tell you about right now, and one that that six wood could very well resolve. I do like these uh, tailor-made striped golf balls. Well, I like them on the green when I can position them, and I like them on the tee as well. But they go in, though. Oh, that's a birdie. Now, I absolutely love a seven wood and I've been, well, rattling on about them for long enough on this channel as to why they are so, so good for average golfers. They have one problem and that is they're one dimensional. And what I mean by that is that they hit the ball extremely high and you don't really have any option other than to do that. I challenge anyone to make a seven wood playable in any other way. And that's a real positive because like I said, fairway woods are notoriously difficult for average golfers to hit. So something with that kind of loft, that kind of CG to pop the ball up, that's a real positive, but there's a but. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. I just love seven woods. But it went high. It probably got a bit of spin on it, quite a bit of spin, and that's an issue. So what if this new six wood that we've seen in the bag of Mr. Phillips this adjustable weight, why does that play such a major part? Well, a what if was what if that weight was in the six wood, in this case is what we've seen, potentially also a seven wood in the range and whatever else they decide to add. And all of a sudden, 
we've got some options that we just don't currently have and that's I could knock the spin down potentially by shifting that 60 grams forward or I could just leave it in its neutral position also no adjustability in this current 7 wood I've got adjustability in terms of the loft sleeve in the fairway plus these are all key differences that make this new potential lineup from Taylor Made a real interesting one. And I've got a funny feeling we will definitely see it in 2024. There's no doubt about it that this three wood in this lineup is, like I said at the beginning, an absolute beast. But there was a negative for me, and that is the fact that it didn't feel too good, especially when that weight was shifted forward. I almost felt it was just a little bit too solid on the face. And no doubt that in Stealth 3 in 2024, they'll work on things like that, and I think there could be some potential upgrades. There's also the fact that Carl Phillips, not Carl Phillips, by the way, he's got a prototype club in his bag that perhaps we will never see the likes of. But I thought it was important for me to do this video just to point out what was spotted and what is potentially coming next year. Because I do think what's gonna happen is with everything pretty much exhausted technology-wise in driver, I do think what you're gonna see is more efforts to get a more adjustable lineup in every way, shape, or form. And I think in this Stealth Plus lineup, that weight and that adjustability in the hosel is key. The limitations were it was only available in a three and a five wood. And it seems obvious to me that you are gonna see an expansion of that range and a six wood could be one that is added next year. Anyway, as ever, let me know what your thoughts are. If you're thinking of buying product, now's the time to start thinking about do I hang on for a little bit longer because it won't be too long, you know. 2024 will be upon us and in January, you'll see a whole new raft of this stuff coming through. Right, thank you for watching. I'm all done. Short and sweet this one. See you tomorrow night.